let's piss some people off. These are my top 10 movies of 2023 so far. And I'm not gonna hold you. 2023 has had some pretty great movies. So we gotta get to the bottom of which movies on top. It's a ranking video, which means someone's gonna be pissed off in the comments below. But I'm here to let you know right now, I do not care because it's my list I can't miss. Starting off with some honorable mentions, like I got Scream 6. One of the biggest pleasant surprises of the year for me was Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Rye Lane was such a creative rom-com that I thoroughly enjoyed on Hulu. And I thoroughly enjoyed the new interpretation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And my final honorable mention goes to Barbie because I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a 10. And Margot Robbie. But into our top 10 with number 10, I got Creed 3, which was Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut, and I was really impressed with his creative vision that he had for this film. Did you know that it took anime inspo? This movie had me shadow boxing and ready to work out no matter the time. Coming in ninth place, I got Air, directed by Ben Affleck, which I can confidently say that no other cast had the chemistry that this cast had. I'm a big sports guy, I love Jordan, I wear Jordans, and having the 80s aesthetic elevated it. From there, we go to Makoto Shinkai Suzume, which is just one of the most beautiful movies I've seen this year, and got me a little emotional. In the animation, and from there, we go to Talk To Me, which trust me, after seeing a trailer, I did not think I would have it this high. I'm not a horror fan whatsoever. This is genuinely one of the best horror movies I've seen in years. It's not so much typical horror, but it's more like disturbing and I'm like, I can't believe what I'm looking at right now. Next up, we got Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Say that five times fast. Light work, no reaction. Tom Cruise is a fucking superstar. This man can do no wrong. And trust me, having a follow-up Fallout is not an easy task. But I mentioned the chemistry in the Air movie. I think Haley Atwell and Tom Cruise might have the best chemistry for a duo out of any movie. It was palpable. Hand her the keys. But into our top five with number five, I got Past Lives, which is just such a beautifully tragic film from Celine Song, who I believe this is her directorial debut. And I think Bon Jovi said it best. Shot through the heart and you're to blame. Darling, you give love a bad name. In fourth place, I got John Wick Chapter Four, shout out Clay Thompson, but the Baba Yaga came to fucking play in this one. My bad, play no games in this one. This movie is single-handedly gonna create a couple of categories at the Oscars because the stunts in this movie were fucking crazy, but this movie was also aesthetically pleasing too. Hey yo, the king of gun fu never misses. In third place, I got one of Christopher Nolan's best films ever, Oppenheimer. Now I am become death destroyer of worlds. This movie gave me more anxiety. And for a movie about the creation of the atomic bomb, it focuses much more on Oppenheimer and the legal drama around his case. But the dialogue and the scenes were immaculate. It had me hooked. Plus shout out to Ludwig Gorenson because his score is getting me through work. In second place, I know I can already hear you complaining that I have this over Oppenheimer, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, but I'm a franchise guy, I'm a Marvel guy through and through, and this movie just affected me on a different level. I love the Guardians, it's like watching your family up on the screen and learning about Rocket's backstory, along with one of the best hallway fight scenes in film history, and a banging soundtrack, this one's just a personal favorite. But in first place, you already know it's gonna be across the Spider-Verse. Come on, man, quit playing with this movie. This movie, I'm calling it right now, will be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. It's easily gonna win Best Animated Movie. And overall, such a beautiful fucking masterpiece of a film. From the aesthetics alone, the fucking visuals themselves, I've never seen such beautiful shots in a film, which was magnified by the amazing score and I think the best soundtrack that we've gotten for a film this year. And just the story of what being Spider-Man truly means and how Miles doesn't fit into that box is just deep on so many levels. And the scene where Rio Morales is talking to Miles Morales is gonna make me cry every single time i love my mom and i love across the spider verse and that's why it's number one but that's just how i would rank them let me know how you'd rank them down in the comments below and as always like and follow for more